What if the entire emotional dynamic of your life would transform if you realized and practiced intrinsic self-worth? It's powerful because it's completely different. Extrinsic self-worth is entirely based off of external means and influences. Intrinsic self-worth is based on you bringing the power back to yourself and you discovering everything within yourself that is important to you. Nobody else gets to determine intrinsic self-worth, and that's what makes it so powerful. So imagine when you see that somebody who has extrinsic self-worth, and they have it tied to a bunch of things out there, their life, their emotional state is all over the place. And that's the reality of it. But people with intrinsic self-worth, their self-worth is inside of themselves, entirely determined by them. A lot of people might look at this and be like, well, that's not fair. It's not a matter of whether it's fair or not. It's a matter of what it does for the person. Whether or not you are considered an island through intrinsic self-worth is practically irrelevant here. The most important thing is that you have static stability. Because when your worth is out there, and it's tied to a bunch of things or people, you're all over the place. Your emotional dynamic is up and down and everywhere, but it's not here consistently. For people that don't have intrinsic self-worth, they experience profound and severe ups and downs consistently. I know what it feels like to experience that, and I think that a lot of other people do too. I would argue that a majority of the world experiences life through the lens of extrinsic self-worth, tying their worth to a partner, tying their worth to a job, tying their worth to a marriage or a university. Oh, I'm only worthy if I have this or that going for me. If I have this person that I'm married to, it's very unstable and it leads to a life of severe ups and downs. Imagine your emotional state being tied to severe ups and downs. Imagine you were to actually instead take all that power back on yourself and validate yourself and approve of yourself and not seek the validation and approval from other people. The other day I did a video on oversharing and enmeshment and I discovered something very fascinating and I'm not claiming this as fact or truth. Somebody asked me what the origin of oversharing was. And I kind of just went about my day and I didn't really think too much about it, but something sprung up to me and that was very fascinating. I am starting to wonder if the origin of oversharing has more to do with extrinsic self-worth than anything. Because when you think about it, sometimes when you overshare, you're probably oversharing because you're seeking validation from somebody else because you have extrinsic self-worth or you see your self-worth as extrinsic. So maybe you do overshare because you're seeking the validation and approval from the external because you've tied your sense of self-worth to the external. So I started thinking about this. Again, I'm not claiming this is fact or is truth. I'm not saying that this is the way that this is, that this is textbook, period. All I'm saying is that it's fascinating because sometimes people overshare because they're seeking validation and approval for their experiences. They tell somebody something about themselves that's very personal, maybe because they don't know how they feel about it. And they, you know, they want somebody else to know because um, maybe they'll feel validated and approved of, oh, it's not that bad what I did. Oh, it's not that bad what happened to me. It's not good or bad or right or wrong. Something that happened to you maybe earlier on in your life happened and it just traumatized you and you don't understand it, but you are seeking validation and approval from the external rather than just bringing it back on yourself and being like, oh, wow, how do I feel about what happened to me? Forget about the way that other people might feel about what it is that happened to me. How do I feel about it? If I bring this to somebody else, are they actually going to be present with the information that I'm presenting? Does it actually matter how they feel about it? I'm the one that experienced it. Why do I need to bring this? It's okay to bring something personal to somebody else. It's absolutely okay. It's not good or bad or right or wrong. It's just an act of trying to create intimacy with somebody. 
But the real question is, how do you feel about it? And the more you bring that back to yourself, the more you make that whole dynamic intrinsic, the more your life transforms. Because then the better you get to know yourself. How do you feel about the things that have happened in your life? I mean, you can bring it to other people. You might be told to get over it. You might be told that it's not that big of a deal. You might be told whatever about it. But the, in my honest opinion, healthiest question in the frame there is how do you feel about it? How do I feel about it? When I say I, I mean if it's something that is my stuff, if it's something that is your stuff, how do you feel about it? I believe that this is one of the necessary markers in terms of creating the foundation for intrinsic self-worth and the power that it creates in any individual's life that practices it. Really bringing the power back to yourself, really bringing the question back to yourself, really bringing the intimacy back to yourself. You want intimacy with other people? It starts with yourself. Everything in this life, every relationship in this life starts with you. The potential beauty that you could experience in any relationship in this life starts with you. How do you feel about it? You have to have a healthy relationship with yourself before you can even try to have one with anybody else. How do you feel about what happened in your life? I believe that this is where the power, the starting point, the structure of intrinsic self-worth, I believe that this is where that happens. You know, you're bringing the question to other people. Because you want the validation and approval. You want that check mark. Oh, okay. Um, I'm validated. I'm approved of by this person. I'm accepted by this person. I am good enough. You are already good enough. You're already worthy. You've just been taught that your worth is inside of that person or inside of that person or inside of that thing or that marriage or that job or that university. It's not. Your worth is there naturally, inherent. But all you have to do is bring the power back to yourself, validate and approve of yourself. This is actually a potential freedom that some people are terrified of. Imagine giving yourself power that has been, I don't want to say that it's been taken away from you, but that you've been conditioned to give to other people. And it's not unhealthy. Why would anybody want to live a life of severe ups and downs? Because... Their self-worth is extrinsic and tied to things outside of them that are unpredictable, unstable, not static, all these things that are all over the place. Why would anybody want to live a life like that? It's not healthy. It's not fun. You may have learned to believe that life is just about ups and downs. I don't believe that anymore. I used to believe that. I used to think that that's the way that life is supposed to be, that it's just supposed to be full of ups and downs. But the more I realize what intrinsic self-worth actually means and my own power to validate myself and not rely on external validation, I'm starting to see things differently. And as a result of that, I've been consistently happy. You can validate and approve of yourself. You can choose yourself. And when you do, when you actually start to practice intrinsic self-worth, you will watch your relationships transform in ways that you didn't even know were possible. But it all starts with you. And it all starts with the audacity, very healthy audacity, to choose yourself, to bring the power back to yourself, to focus on yourself, to validate and approve of yourself. And then you'll see that you don't have to seek external validation. Why would you seek external validation? Hey, am I good enough? Hey, am I good enough? Hey, am I good enough? Why would the answer be in them? You're probably used to enmeshment and oversharing, and that's why you learned to seek validation and approval externally. The answer is not in them. It's in you. And you can jump inside of yourself and discover that for yourself. It's a very liberating experience, bringing the power back to yourself. There's a lot of magic there. <laughs>